The pandemic has made it clear that our global supply chain system can be quite fragile and unforeseen events may cause shocks to the supply chain. Good thing the Singapore government had already started its 30 by 30 food security goal where it aims to produce 30% of the nutritional needs locally by 2030. For those considering a career in the sunrise industry of aquaculture, this is the best time to join. Hi, I'm Kenneth and welcome to my monologue. At the time of recording this video, there are concerns about not having enough seafood due to a cluster at the Jurong Fishery Port, which made the government close it until 31st July for deep cleaning. If this becomes a long-term issue, Singaporeans might have to get used to eating less seafood. According to the Singapore Food Agency or SFA, only 9% of fish is produced in local farms. It's no surprise that the Singapore Food Agency has been pushing the aquaculture industry to modernize to increase local production. In fact, in April 2021, $23 million in grants was awarded by SFA to fund eight research and development projects in aquaculture and four in sustainable urban food production. So here are the options for those looking to ride the wave and study aquaculture in Singapore. At the diploma level, Republic Polytechnic runs a diploma in environmental and marine science where students can choose to specialize in the aquaculture technology track. In this track, the specialization modules include genetics and fish breeding, sustainable aquaculture, seafood handling, animal health and nutrition, and comparative aquatic animal physiology. This course at Republic Polytechnic is offered only on a full-time basis. For those looking at a part-time diploma, the Masik Poly offers the Diploma in Applied Science in Aquaculture. To cater to adult learners, this diploma is structured as modular certificates. There are five modular certificates in total, and each modular certificate contains three subjects. The Masik Poly also has a 12-month work-study certificate program for fresh ITE graduates, which leads to their Diploma in Applied Science in Aquaculture. At the undergraduate level, James Cook University Singapore seems to be the only university offering a program in aquaculture for now. They have two courses, the Bachelor of Business and Environmental Science majoring in aquaculture and the Bachelor of Science majoring in aquaculture, science and technology. Now remember the 23 million in funding I mentioned earlier? The Tropical Futures Institute at James Cook University Singapore is involved in four out of the eight aquaculture projects and will be working on things like improving fish feed, developing genetic resources of red snapper, and improving Baramandi production. If you would like to find out more about the programs I've mentioned in this video, check out the links in the description. Hey, thanks for watching till the end of the video. If you found value in this content, please help me out by liking the video. And if you haven't, please subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications as well.